Okay, so basic goodness, it's, it's awfully hard to find words, you know, to express this. But let's just say that another way of saying this is, um, first of all, it isn't good, at, it isn't good as, as opposed to bad. Um, if it was good as opposed to bad, there'd always be that struggle and that warfare going on with ourselves the good side, like the little angel on one shoulder and the little <laughs> devil on the other shoulder. This one's telling you one thing and this one's saying the other thing and you're like... <laughs> and, and actually, you think you should go with the angel, but actually you want to go with the devil. You know? <laughs> and um, so, uh, I think um, it's more like like in each moment of, of experience, there's something very fresh. It's almost like a spark of energy. It's just here. It's called life force or something like that. It, it has a lot of names, but there's something uh, very... It's like the realization that each moment is completely fresh and new. It never happened before, and it's never going to happen again. It's completely fresh. You know, even the things we do every day of our life, you know, open our eyes in the morning, stagger to the bathroom, you know, drink our coffee, and, you know, and then go to work and all these things. But actually, it never happened exactly that way before. Something, there's something fresh and open and new in every moment. You know, like now has never occurred before and will never occur again. And... Um, so there's many ways of trying to describe that, but I think what I was referring to as basic goodness or basic wisdom or basic intelligence, basic good heart, is somehow that there's something that we keep uh, distancing ourselves from. We keep ourselves busy. There's a lot of speed. There's a lot of um, talking to ourselves. And we just keep going far, far away. And and so it's this coming back to, you could basically say, just basic simplicity of the moment. <coughs> basic simplicity. And actually, there's a lot of examples of this that we all have the experiences. And thinking a typical one right here, uh, uh, down here, this, this part of um, Pleasant Bay, Red River, is called the Lower End. I don't know. Any, are you, any, any of you from town? No? Anyway, this is called the Lower End. Alfred is the mayor. <laughs> um, but a common experience here is that, you know, it's that you're, um, you, uh, uh, oh, I'll tell a story, and this is, it actually, it happens a lot, this kind of thing. So one day, one of the women who was cooking here, she, um, she had just made a lot of chocolate chip cookies and burned them. So she was feeling... And it was supposed to be a special treat and everything. And the worst part of it was, this was the fifth time that week that she had done this. <laughs> and so she was feeling kind of bad, and it was, it was in the darkest, shortest days of winter. And, and anyway, she was feeling kind of down. And she went out for a walk. She said her, she was like slumped over in depression and discouragement. And she had all these cookies stuffed into her pockets because she, she didn't she was so embarrassed she didn't want anyone to even see them in the garbage she had just shoved them in her pocket and she was going to go like throw them over the cliff or something so she was walking along and she said like her head was down and she was she was she said she uh, she felt like she was like in a big black uh, garbage bag or something you know and and she just sort of lifted her eyes up and there, walking down the road towards her, was a fox. And this fox just was walking right towards her. And she just stopped, and the fox just walked right up and sat down at her feet and looked up at her. Well, needless to say, you know, her mind just like, and her depression, everything just... And so she picked rich in her pocket <laughs> and got out the chocolate chip cookies. Um, Little fox ate all the cookies <laughs> and walked away down the road. So that's kind of what I call basic goodness, you know. You can't exactly say it's the fox or her or anything, but it's that it opens up that sense of being... It's basically when we're all caught up in ourselves and completely we've gone in 
and we're just like can't can't see anyone else's faces we don't we can't even hear someone else talking to us we're just like in 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 and then something happens and there's this basic wonderfulness or beauty or space or freshness or sense of humor or whatever you want to call it that actually you realize at that time that it was always there I mean you know the fox was always there the sky was always there the ocean was always there the the bite of the the of the air you know the coldness of the air was always there but we go we get in this darkness in this darkness and you know you could call that selfishness but maybe that sounds too derogatory but basically this self-involvement and this uh, aggression towards ourselves turns out to actually when there's that much self-involvement and, and aggression towards ourselves basically we we just want to protect ourselves more and more and we our sense of kindness our sense of uh, caring for other people is just like numbed out like we novocaine our heart you know went to the dentist and said instead of here would you mind putting it in my heart <laughs> so um, but then all Mr. Fox comes along or Mrs. Fox or what Miss Fox or Master Fox or whatever this little creature was and, and suddenly you remember you know the goodness of life or of yourself or it's not exactly like it's yours it's just accessible it's just here. So there's a lot of examples. There's a lot of examples like that. Um, so that's why they say that uh, it's found in appreciation, that actually if we cultivate appreciation, uh, then you, you touch in with this. And meditation is about uh, finding this in ourselves. And um, so whatever this is, you know, you give it a name, but it's basically that sense of <clears throat> opening up your eyes and your ears and being able to see the world around you and in a very fresh and unself-involved kind of way. So in some sense this process of getting to know yourself or not or taking an interest in yourself curiously enough this is the way of, of uh, getting out of your own way. This is the way of, of taking the black garbage bag off your head and beginning to appreciate, you know, sounds and sights and smells and this world that we live in. And I guess the basic assumption here is that grows, that grows into a more caring family, a more caring community and so forth. And that the fear and the going in, that grows into a into a more aggressive, um, in the negative sense of that word, or a more violent, you know, because we're afraid, we feel we have to protect ourselves, and we do all kinds of harmful things in the name of protecting ourselves. But, you know, so...